What are the David McCullough's rules for writing great biography, for writing great history? Please let us know. <laughs> write and rewrite. I'm, we were talking earlier and I said the book that influenced me most was Strunk and White's Elements of Style. <laughs> and uh, really, truly, in that fifth chapter that E.B. White wrote, where he, she, he stresses the importance of rewriting, learn to edit yourself and to strive for clarity, to be clear, not to be fancy, not to be nifty dandy, watch me do my back strokes and all that. Um, and, and write for the ear as well as the eye. Have somebody read what you write aloud to you or read it aloud yourself because you hear things that could be improved or, or eliminated more readily after you've been looking at certain pages month after month, year after year. And um, put, put what you've written on the shelf for a while. Let it cool, let yourself cool, and then take a look at it. And, uh, and tell a story. That's really what I'm about. I'm a storyteller. Barbara Tuckman said, there's no secret to writing history, tell stories. And um, I think that stories are how we survived as a species for a very long time. Because we couldn't write, uh, we couldn't have books for people given. We had to tell stories and pass on essential, uh, essential ingredients for survival and, uh, and uh, community activity. They did a study not very long ago about what's the ideal size of the number of people working together in big corporations and small and so forth. Is it 200 people? Is it 12 people? Is it, is it 50 people? And they found out it was 30 people, the exact size of a hunter-gatherer band in the Pleistocene. It's, it's in our DNA or something. And, um, and so is storytelling. I think the way to bring back history is to bring back the dinner table conversation among families, in families. Bring back dinner. <laughs> <laughs>